Of course, all data is not exactly the same. Some data is more sensitive than others. Some data should be more private than others. And generally, we set different sensitivities to this data. And we separate the data also into hard data and soft data. Hard data being information that's printed out, that's in a book, in a binder, on a piece of paper. Your soft data being something that is digital, some software, some soft copies of information. So your internal documents and your customer data, maybe documentation and private information of your internal systems, that's something that is very, very sensitive. So generally, we set up different categorizations for this data. We can call it confidential, top secret, unclassified, internal use only. You've seen these terms before, but your organization needs to determine what each one of those classifications means. In the federal government, it has a certain meaning that might be different in your organization, for instance. And you should also sign permissions. If this is confidential, maybe only director level and higher should have direct access to this. Maybe if it's top secret, it should be vice president level and higher. So you get to make these decisions and you should lay that out as part of your security policy. Now, if it's hard data, something you've printed out, this could be on your desk, it could be in a book, it could be on a shelf, and you not only need to set how this information will be controlled, but also what you do with it when you're done. Do, do you put this into a file? Do you take it and put it in the garbage can? Or is there a standard policy to take this information and dispose of it in different ways? Maybe you have a truck that comes by every month and it will shred everything that you've put into your shredding bin. So these are things you also have to explain to your users that if it's a sensitive document, put it into the shredding cabinet and every month we're going to make sure all of this information is disposed of properly. If it's soft data, there may be digital controls around this. You may be able to set permissions on a file server or understand exactly who accesses that information. You also might want to implement some type of encryption methodology. Maybe you can only see this information if you really have the correct decryption information. And if you're able to decrypt the data, then obviously you have ability to see that data. But that allows you to set another layer of control on top of it and at least provide a level of security for that data. It doesn't matter if it's hard data or soft data. You need to make sure you have these methods and policies in place to protect all of this very, very critical information.